problem? Why are men moving right? Uh, it's probably like a political crazy nonsense, but like I think that men have been popping off online. I want to see. I want to see what's happening, and I also love watching uh, Sean Head. Like she's always fun. So let's take a look. Hello everyone, and Hello. happy one year anniversary to my male loneliness epidemic video. Damn! I'm happy to announce that since that video uploaded, the discourse has greatly improved. People all around the world are taking men's issues more seriously, they and are? the gender war has finally come to an end. That's the biggest fucking cap I've ever heard in my life. I, I don't, I do not think, I do not think for a second this is true. Just kidding, everything I has gotten worse and nobody has learned anything. From the witches on The View oh, cackling Christmas. about Christmas. how men are useless. Do we need men? Do we need men? <laughs> men are useless. True. <laughs> to women online saying they'd rather be stranded in the woods with a bear than a man. Would you rather be stuck in a forest with a man or a bear? bear. The bear. 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 It seems that things have gotten more toxic than ever and the gender divide couldn't be any wider, especially politically. In 2008, 58% of young people lean Democratic. 2012, 53%. And in the last two major election years, that percentage held steady at 55%. I, I wonder why we are constantly on this. Uh, what is with this generation and wanting to separate each other so much? Like, I, I wonder why everybody is so interested in trying to separate how we are like, like every gender there is. Like, why, why we... Why are we on this crusade against each other and trying to perceive each each gender like as such a negative trend? It's getting more and more public publicized on the internet now, on TikTok, on YouTube, everywhere. There's always some gender war about the most ridiculous things constantly. But in 2023, that number dipped below 50% for the first time since 2005. And you'll notice right here, they started to lean more Republican. And that's partly because of one specific group, young men. Ooh. So young men are the problem. Men are okay, the problem. I know I said I was going to focus on the gender war and not talk about politics for a while. However, Ooh. I found a loophole. Politics is talking about gender war. With this election being hailed by the media as the man versus woman election, according to any and all data coming out recently, men all around the world have shifted more right. Because some reason we won't realize humans are shit in, human gender isn't a factor in that thing. I think men, I think uh, humans likes to have an enemy. And I think that once we don't have a proper enemy to face or a proper thing to go through, to war, we're just fighting ourselves. So now we're taking these ridiculous things that we're different and then just fighting each other. And women have shifted more left. But women going more left was not the focus of this month's outrage. The outrage, of course, was about men. That's right, we got our yearly, oh no, what is happening to men? Why are they moving to the right? Freak out. But unlike last year, this freak out isn't solely happening on the internet, no. It's also happening in Washington, D.C. There are only 46 days until Election Day, and the harris Walls campaign is struggling to appeal to a group of voters that could determine the outcome of the election, and that is men. The Harris campaign is I making cannot an wait for this election to be over. to win over younger male voters. Am I Ooh. really going to make a video criticizing the Democrat Party days before the election? Of course I am. Now, before you celebrate or grab your pitchforks, this is not a pro-Trump video. This is a do better video. This is a mommy's not mad, she's disappointed video. Oh, okay. Actually, I, I hope she cringed for saying that. I lied, mommy's pretty mad. In this video, <laughs> I am going to be addressing the Democrats' so-called man Jesus problems. Christ. The recent discourse about men moving right. The last minute pandering the Democratic Party You're is not doing a to mommy, get them what? back. <laughs> what they could be doing instead. And of course, going zero, show some real opinions. <laughs> Not my opinions. I have never had a bad opinion in my life. <laughs> Except that one opinion. We don't talk about that one opinion. In a world where it seems like everything men do and like is toxic, from eating meat to working out to even having a beard. <gasps> oh wait, that reminds me. Before we get How into this video, they? let's quickly give a shout out to today's video sponsor, Ooh. Henson Shaving. If you've used a multi-blade razor, you're probably familiar with this story. Irritation, razor burns, and maybe even- You may just want to feel better Studies about themselves and they choose to do it the wrong way. I think so too. They try to push each other down. They're trying to push each other down for, instead of like pushing each other up. And that's going to help them feel better. Bro, whoa, this is popping off. Henson shaving is on a mission to improve beyond the shave. Results indicated that's just a 
and purchase I am glad. the only scout to get a hundred blades for <gasps> free with your blades. purchase of a Henson razor. Your skin and your environment. I like her hair. Well, it's very you. good. Big thank you to Henson for sponsoring this video, and thank you for not skipping the ad. You I did definitely ad, not right? skip the ad. And now let's get back to the video. If you are a regular viewer to the Shoe on Head channel, first of all, I'm sorry. But also, you know by now, I have been documenting the internet and society in general's growing and widely accepted hatred of men. This has been happening for a very long time. And if you dare spoke up about it, you were called an incel or a pick me, depending on your gender. But seemingly, almost out of nowhere, there has been a change of heart. You know, I think men are in crisis, actually, in this country. Uh, I think that plays out different ways. But I think we need to have a real conversation about that. Wow, that's interesting. Mainstream media talking about this? <laughs> I wonder why they care so much now. Democrats fear Harris losing too many male voters to Trump. Oh. Signs have been mounting that, for the first time in recent decades, Democrats may lose majority support from young men in 2024. The risk to Democrats is that this is not just a one-time fluke, but an indication of growing trouble with men in coming elections. Democrats can celebrate the support they are getting from young women, but they also need to take the disaffection of young men seriously, engage them directly, and respond to the visions of manhood and masculinity that Donald Trump and J.D. Vance are offering. Yeah, Donald Trump is offering men masculinity. So if you want to be masculine in a gig, giga chat, you got to vote for Donald Trump, apparently. Isn't Gen Z having less and less children? Well, the generation now is having more, less and less children because of many reasons. Well, first of all, we are constantly fighting each other. Second of all, internet is shutting us down. Third of all, what the hell is happening? We are, because of everything on the internet and constantly pushing each other out, if we have a social interaction or try to do anything, we'll be deemed as creep. And I'm not talking about men, I'm talking even about women. Bro, girl, there's also girls that have this situation where they're talking to a dude and they're deemed as creep, where they want to move on. And there's like, I don't know, bro, we just, everybody has, there's this constant battle between each gender and people just feeling like, you know what about it? Screw this. I am comfortable and happy sitting on the internet, hanging out with my homies, playing games, going to work, partying and chilling out and not dealing with the, uh, the dealing with dating and victim mentality. It kind of is like also, but like the point is that people are just tired of dating. They have stopped dating. They feel like they get the comfort they need from other things. How the fuck is internet a problem? Uh, is it is a communica communication a medium? It's because it... Um, uh, the internet is a problem because it depicts a specific way of thinking and it's it's the algorithm presents that to a lot of younger audience and general audiences where some there's always some hateful uh, heinous thing and it also depicts like one type of uh, idea or ideology from one gender and another and there's a lot of reason also they get the comfort they would need from the internet you know what i mean there's a lot of things that's the election they can also do that too oh you were talking about election oh yeah the internet I mean, the election, if you've looked at this election, by the way, have you seen how much um, both Kamala and um, Mr. Trump, has, both those those two have been posting a lot on the internet, on every social media, trying to be a part of every celebrity thing on the internet, uh, on video games, on this and that they are pushing it so much on the internet now because it has such a big influence all right kamala you got two weeks to reverse anti-male propaganda and resentment fueled by our government media and institutions how are you gonna do it harris campaign creating space for white dudes oh that's a great idea i mean a little too late but i'm glad you're finally doing s to be honest about role in history oh it's always a space for white men to talk about how much they suck. What made you start this group, White Dudes for Harris? And I suspect white? some of it has to do with this. Is, because everybody says the white straight man is bad, bro. They, I, I've never heard anybody say that where I live or outside in real life. But apparently on the Internet, the white, this white straight man is always the cesspool of the world. Apparently, whenever you look at the Internet, I don't know, like who, who made this up? But why is it, it's always that, does it really matter? Does this matter? Like, it does matter. Because we are seeing a massive, we are seeing an incredible decline 
when it comes to uh, people uh, like your uh, people that are together, uh, marriages and families will coming up. There's been a decrease. It's an insane decrease in reproduction in everywhere in the world. These do matter because it's making the younger and now the millennials are less likely to procreate or interact. Everything are going down. Everything. Like population in the world is just shoving down. If you remove China and India, do you understand if you look at the group like how many how many like uh, how many in the world there are like we were not be it was the graph will not be looking good oh. man yeah for far too long the left has essentially seated white men to the MAGA right there's large parts of the left who have uh, gone out of their way to alienate white men over the last couple of years yeah, because I prefer not being beat the fuck up by my partner regardless of gender. And why would you... So, this is the thing. And I'm not talking bad about you, Sir Kahov. You know, I love you, I love you, I love you. Don't worry about it. But, like, you have this idea that if you get in a relationship, you will be abused, attacked, or something like that, you know? This negative idea is, is not what someone should think ever. And the thing is that there's so many, many, many negative ideas people have with the either opposite gender. Not, no, you should not. You should think that someone caring, loving, somebody will th that you can have a partner to go out and have fun with and adventure, explore life. Someone that will listen to you, support you whenever you are in need of like, in the sense that mentally, physically, on a job opportunity, on something new going on in your life. This is, this is the, your view on a partner should be that you should think about somebody that is there to take you and support you through your life journey as you support them because it makes you both happy. That is what you should be thinking. But nowadays people are thinking about it. Oh, this is a bother to go on a date. Oh, this is exhausting. 50, 50, blah, 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 blah. There's always something negative for if it's either a date, a relationship or talking to someone or interaction, always something bad. And there, that's understandable in many ways. We decided that we wanted to create space for white men uh, to be a part of- Yeah, but it, ideally I want someone caring and kind, but in reality, their frequency of running into people who pretend to be the same uh, on our red flags is very high. Are you telling me your dating experience have been a lot of red flags? Do you feel like yourself that a lot of people who've been dating has been a red flag? Because in the end of the day, we talked about this earlier, and I think that a lot of people also are acting on this mindset and negative mindset and bad mindsets uh, nowadays because it's like more like uh, people are turning like either incels or whatever. Everybody ha are consuming all of these ideas and ideologies and just changing uh, their behavior in many ways yeah no it's a mixed bag i've seen both myself and others yeah it's unfortunate acting uh, it's, it's how, that's, this is the, this, the there's so many reasons to it and yes that's why these things matter white dudes for harris organizer ross morales rockito said he wanted to address what he called the elephant in the but i really do prefer not dealing with the trouble and that's why we have this issue that's why everybody that's what everybody says every guy every guy says that every girl says that do I want to go on a date? But then you think about all the negative things you thought about the previous dates or your all the things you've seen online and you just think, do I really want to deal with this? Nah, I'm comfortably fine. I'm, I'm uh, totally fine with hanging out with my friends, uh, being online and doing my job or my studies and just leave it at that. A lot of people are like that because it, you you have all of this shit going on and you're just not nah i'm good i don't need to deal with it i'm good criticism surrounding an event organized for white men given the country's history of racism a lot of people felt uncomfortable about the call he said throughout american history when white men organized it was often with pointy hats on they can't even have their gay little zoom call where they circle jerk about hating themselves without their own movement going yikes a bunch of white males in one space seems kind of like the kkk black people can have their little group and oh, that's fine but if a bunch of white people get together well well that's just called bread tube never mind white dudes for harris <laughs> i mean she's doing pretty bad with latinos too what's next hombres con harris <laughs> uh, 
Oh. So basically, men are leaving the Democratic Party in droves, and it's not looking too good for the Democrats. So it wasn't long until everyone's favorite discourse hit Twitter again. If Kamala loses, which is very possible, there needs to be a real discussion about how Democrats speak to and reach young men. If Kamala loses. If. If she wins, there doesn't have to be a discussion. We shouldn't change anything. Clearly, we're doing everything right. To be clear, I'm not saying we need to worry about women less or change any positions. I'm saying the polling around young men is concerning. And if it turns out to be true, we need to have a discussion about how condescending we are coming off to a huge part of the electorate. To be clear, I'm not saying we have to change anything. I'm just wondering why men aren't voting for us. What? I am gonna regret posting this so hard. And oh boy did he. The replies were insane, to say the least. I must admit, I cringed reading most of this. I feel that one thing you didn't address is the systemic entitlement bestowed upon white men. People need to stop having an unrealistic expectation from other men can't always have the gr uh, they get the uvu girlfriend only for sex and women can't always get the replacement for their dad. We're enabling each other too much on the internet. I think there's many, you could put a lot of lists on that idea. Very much the, this, okay, the occasional successful relationship take time to create because you have to make sure that the connection is genuine and safe. So that the inevitable means uh, vetting your uh, their friend of interest for a while. Yeah, I mean, like the thing again, like I said earlier, like a, a lot of this has to do with communication. Like it has to do with understanding communication and just sit there and like, realize that both of us think differently and both have different needs in sort of way and just talk about it and figure things out that are matching and you need to see if those things matches but a lot of people just don't do that you made Addy say Uber. okay shut up and in the u.s that sense of entitlement that privilege they felt for eternity is eroding systemic entitlement this don't be condescending they're like 20 people are always old. condescending but they're like way more like bro i just the f do you mean eternity? Who is this We're like 200 this year old fuck. man? So young men are snow. Like, listen to this. I bet all of y'all in chat right now are lovely, great individual that realizes these problems and can understand or coherently think for yourself and even think to solve them. But I bet that you yourself has not had many great relationship that are like you not had a relationship or many great relationship where a thing went as planned i'm not lovely i'm a baddie oh you're baddie huh you're a baddie you say Wait, i see how it is because they're not never the had a relationship anymore got it so are they poor little snowflakes boo-hoo or are they scary fascists that are gonna turn america into the handmaid's tale because they can't be both you either care about the future or you don't you cannot simultaneously hand wave away men moving to fascism but also fear monger about it hi man here maybe men just need to stop being absolute pieces of dog shit. it seems like the easiest thing to do right i don't feel alienated or uncomfortable with democratic messaging because i'm not a complete wannabe fascist cheese dick incel loser who thinks he's the good Damn. guy <laughs> reddit and its consequences have been a disaster for the male race they just need to get off their asses stop playing video games and get real jobs first of all first of all what real jobs these guys are coming uh, he's out of talking college. about not being a uh, uh, something on the internet you gotta go out there and work at the oil rig that's a real job useless diplomas and there are no jobs also what an out of touch boomer ass take get off your ass and stop playing those video games from the generation who watches tv 24 7 i don't want to hear it tell them to get therapy tell them whatever you told or gave to women in the 1950s they made this bed let them sleep alone in it yeah true or be f that's another thing that a lot of people don't think about this a lot is that you already uh someone always has to de do a lot for himself this there's a lot of people out there that are coming out like at least in your 20s right the world is fucking there's so many problems with the world so much things to work with and a lot of people sit there and think to themselves they got to work on themselves they got to do this and that for themselves and they feel like they haven't even fixed all their problems they have among themselves like if they're going to start caring for someone else as well Oh, now you're opening up a different basket. What if that started being bad? What if that ends up wrong? Uh, what if it, I'm trying to put time into dating and this is wasting my time, which I could put in putting effort into myself, take care of myself, and you go back and forward on this and you never move on, you never get anywhere. This just never ends. I, this is just... um. I, I, I wonder if this will get worse or better in 10 years. 
any other Probably group of worse. people and it's, oh, boo-hoo, poor baby. Let me rewire Everybody, all of we society all so your feelings aren't hurt. And then we're going to get therapy. Be f better. While there is truth in messaging needs to be better from Democrats as a whole, I reject that telling young men they need to be better is the problem. They are trash in their nature, and if they can't do the work to not be toxic waste of seed, that's on them. Why is it always like men that says this also? Like, why, why, why is this? I, do, do, you know what this reminds me of? It reminds me, it gives me the vibe of a guy that has no idea how to like communicate to a girl so they have to have this weird wild view that supports the the wild view of some women so that they he can seem like he can relate to them you know what i mean like oh i am the, i'm not like them you know what i mean this is what gives me the vibes of vote for my team by the way we may not want to hear it but this is what the data reflects there is a massive loneliness epidemic in this country which is disproportionately affecting men instead of calling them incels or mocking them we should be willing to hear out their concerns wow a surprisingly good tweet in a sea of bullshit that's nice to see. I could be wrong, but I'm assuming you're a straight white man. So yeah, go do something about it. Why are you guys bothering the rest of us with this? I can't figure it out. Because I would like for Democrats to win the election. Why do you care about men suffering? Because I want to win the election. As men wants to speak about that, why would even a woman speak about that? Like in this, why would a woman speak about their own, like themselves and, and push them? Why would you push everybody down? Like, I just think that, I, I mean, like, if, you you're obvious if you try to push someone down you want an outcome you want something out of it amazing this is the issue right here start seeing men as people and not numbers in polls yeah that is step one you can't even do step one anyway same would, would like it's just say that say that see that with humans man people just keep on looking at everything as a number and a d like uh, like a graph of this and that, but they never think about the people. There are thousands of these kind of tweets in response to this guy. You get it. We've seen it all before. If I went through all of them, this video would be three hours long. White Dudes for Harris wasn't the only strange attempt the Democrats threw out at the last second to get the male vote. Hey. White hey. dudes. So, I think we're all pretty sick of hearing how much we suck. Every time you go online, it's the same story. We're the problem. And yeah, some white dudes are. Trump and all his MAGA buddies are out there making it worse. Are you f***ing kidding me? Years of these people saying men I suck I think it's really weird always how much racial matters. And uh, like when I look at these American things, race matters so much in these conversations. Like, yeah, everyone is not humans. It's it's really weird. Oh, the problem. And now they're like, hey, fellow men, are you sick of being told you suck and are the problem? Yeah. The audacity. Wow. Apparently, Kamala Harris has a secret weapon to win over male voters. Kamala Harris is turning to her running mate, Tim Walls, hoping he is the secret weapon who can chip away at Donald Trump's support from men. Much like how Trump chose Pence to win over the more establishment Republican voters, Kamala seems to have chosen Tim Walls to try and win over the white male vote. And boy, are they trying. Now, I don't hate Tim Walls. In fact, I was pleasantly surprised when they chose him over Josh Shapiro. I like a lot of his policies, like his universal school lunch policy. That's an amazing policy. You'd have to be an insane freak to disagree with that or a libertarian, but I repeat myself. And there were a few times where he was speaking where I completely forgot he was running to be Kamala's VP and not president himself. And he actually brought a lot of energy to the democratic stage for once. So what the f was this? Putting out a bunch of ads of Tim Walls changing the air filter in a car, clumsily shooting a gun, and drawing a political football play-by-play. -play. Trotting out- Bro is trying to get the votes of the, like the, the old dads out there. Walls like some kind of minstrel the show of The old dads in man. Texas. Like a man dressing up like a man for Halloween. You don't gotta do all this, bro, I promise you. And they don't shy away about how that's exactly what they are trying to do. Tim Walls is clearly a Midwest man's man, but he's the antidote to toxic MAGA masculinity. Despite his typically masculine resume as a Midwestern football coach and veteran, Walls is utilizing those qualities to push forward a more progressive, compassion-based form of masculinity. Part of being a vice president is Ooh, understanding that president. you are just that, someone who is there to aid and support the president. Walls simply being there on the ticket with a woman and taking a back seat to Hello his running mate, Vice grown President man. Kamala Wait. Harris, <laughs> is him embracing his leadership role in a positive, masculine way. Football coach and cheerleader. Are you a grown Tim man Walls doing basic masculinity. things? Amy Deal, a sexism researcher and author of the 2023 book Glass Walls, 
told USA Today that men like Walls who are intentional about rejecting traits and beliefs commonly dubbed as toxic masculinity are the tonic to harmful stigma associated with expectations of men and boys. He shows you can be masculine, no, but not. also not threatened by women as equals or women who are in positions of power. In fact, you can be cheerleaders for them. Notice the common theme here, taking a back seat cheerleading. Like five different articles I read specifically use this word cheerleading. Even a few about Kamala Harris's husband, Doug. God knows we need an antidote for all the lousy men in the news, and I think I found one. A lovable goofball who is happy to cheerlead for his wife, the vice president of the US. Thank God for Doug Emhoff. Successful guys can support their wives and be respected. You don't have to be the quarterback to play the game at an elite level. Emhoff and his breed of dudes who are giving it their best shot may never be as come hither to lost young men as the militant Andrew Tate models of manhood, but they are out there and not unlike good husbands, will appear when they are needed. From the outside looking in, the right promises young men a return to the good times. Of the glorious past. You know, the one your grandfather had. The Coca-Cola uh -huh. ad rose-tinted version oh, the of one the one with Coke. Back when you can afford a house and support a family I... on one income. While the left, which historically, in my opinion, had the policies to make that happen, are instead trying to sell men a vision of the future. And well, the future is female. A future where you're no longer playing the game, men. You're on the sidelines being a cheerleader. Doesn't Imagine that just sound a so house? exciting? Like what the hell is going Crazy. on inside these DNC consultant meetings? I really gotta know. <clears throat> Does anyone have any ideas on how to appeal to young men? And please, for the love of God, do not say we have make to offer them anything or change in any way. I got it. What? Camo Fortnite. hats. We did that. Vasectomy bus. We did that. Have you perhaps tried nagging them? Yes, yes, we've been doing that. Boobies? Say, you know that whole male loneliness Boobs epidemic for Trump. Thing? Hmm, are you thinking what I'm thinking? Oh, yeah. It's a really nice place. Have you been here before? Yeah, it's one of my favorite spots. I bring everybody here. I said now I go on a lot of dates, but... Oh. Hey men, if you don't vote for Kamala Harris, women won't f you. That's Brilliant. crazy. Young men should know that if you vote for Trump, you're basically I never can't. going to get laid. I mean, is Imagine it having a badge like don't that? So. I'd be just because of the badge, I'd be like, oh, who gives a fuck? I didn't ask. Trump gives girls the ick. Vote Harris, get laid. Is this really politics? How is, uh, is this really, Paul, is this what will get the youth? Is this like, man, I, I don't think anybody gives a fuck. That's why, okay, I'm old, co uh, cause they're being, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's wild. Uh, they are not feeding the pretending to be progressive to get laid allegations with this one. Literally just endorsing woke fishing. <laughs> when men pretend to be more progressive, on dating apps to get laid. Do not do this, by the way. Be open and honest about your opinions. And no, you cannot fix them. <laughs> also pretty weird and like low key sexist to imply like women are some prize for voting the correct way. That is weird. That is extremely weird. And also saying like you get sex, like that's all that matters. That it's really, it's, it, bro, it's degrading. Is degrading for women is is weird, and I, that's a that's a woman politician that is trying to become president that is supporting this. Uh, this is awful. Hey, and if all else fails, go after the gooner vote. What the fuck is this? Oh, sorry. You Jesus, I'd shoot this. What the fuck? What the can't do that. What the hell, man? How'd you get in here? I'm your Republican congressman. Now that we're in charge, we're banning born nationwide. <laughs> I f***ing, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. I love this ad. The one time they speak to men directly and it's, hey men, the Republicans are gonna take away one of the only vices you use to numb the pain. So vote for you us. Pat, I thought I'm getting banned. the absolute state of the world right now. Also, was that Germa? Believe it or not. <laughs> There's no way. This wasn't the worst of it. I'm a man. I'm a man. Oh, okay. I'm a man, man. And I'm That's... man enough. I'm okay. man enough to enjoy a barrel-proof bourbon. Meat. Man enough to cook my steak rare. You think I'm afraid to rebuild a carburetor? 
I have never ever felt cringed of being man. This is insane. What the fuck is this dog shit? You're making me sick. Stop this shit. What the fuck is this? Carburetor? I eat carburetors for breakfast. I'll tell you another thing I sure as shit am not afraid of. Women. When I first saw this, I thought it was a parody created by Republicans to make fun of how hard the Democratic Party is trying to pander to men to get their vote. But alas. I love women. I love women who support their families. Women who decide not to have I love women. Women to take charge. And I'm man enough to help them win. Everything from them directed towards men has to have like this tone of irony or self-deprecation. They can't even do it sincerely. But apparently white men aren't the only demographic Kamala is struggling with. This is the democratic margin among black men under the age of 45 in presidential elections. You go back to November of 2012, what do you see? You see Obama by 81. Clinton only won him by 63. Then we're all the way down to Biden last time around yeah. by 53. A tremendous drop already. And then you take a look at the average of the most recent polls and Kamala Harris is up by only 41 points. It's only downhill. Points. Democrats deployed their ultimate weapon, Barack Obama. At a campaign stump for Harris on Thursday in Pittsburgh, Obama said that despite Harris raising upward of $1 billion, we have yet to see the same kinds of energy and turnout in all quarters of our neighborhoods and communities as we saw when I was running. That lag in energy, he added, appears, quote, to be more pronounced with the brothers. You're coming up with all kinds of reasons and excuses. I've got a problem with that, he said, because part of it makes me think, and I'm speaking to men directly, part of it makes me think that, well, you just aren't feeling the idea of having a woman for president, and you're coming up with other alternatives and other reasons for that. Once again, their only tactic seems to be getting in a man's face and going tisk tisk bad boy. Like a bad dog that boy. just peed on the carpet. It's Mommy's not 2014 speaking. anymore, Barack. Nobody cares about sexism, Jesus mother Christ. We can't afford groceries. What's crazy is, as far as I know, Kamala herself has never played the woman card. She has never played the sexism card. In fact, she actively pushes against it. You've been reluctant to lean into, to talk about the historic nature of your candidacy on the campaign trail. Why is that? Oh, well, I'm clearly a woman. <laughs> <laughs> So dumb. To point that out to anyone. Uh, the, the Wait, point no that way. Most people really care about is can you do the job and do you have a plan to actually focus on them? I was proud. It's like they finally learned from Hillary Clinton's failure. But that didn't stop the media or fuck Barack Obama from doing it for her. Thanks, Obama. Uh, for all the Zoomers, thanks, Obama was a meme in like 2008. Yeah. It was funny back then. That would have that would that would have slapped. <laughs> While I was Who's writing Hillary this Clinton? video, Kamala uh, some other politician that went against Trump in 2016, I think. And Gretchen Whitmore were getting ready to film a video at a bar together when Kamala was apparently caught on hot mic. Saying she basically used the car like she was going to be the first female president and used gender that much. Like I'm a woman. I'm blah 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 blah. I, you gotta, you gotta vote for me because I, I'm a woman. And she went really hard on it, I think. But, um, it's really ridiculous to see that. I guess because of her that everybody's thinking about it so much, uh, when it comes to uh, Kamala. Being this. It was bad? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, we have microphones and oh, listening to everything. Oh, I didn't oh of course we do. Yeah, they totally did not know. <laughs> okay. Yeah, definitely. So, uh, well, You'll my F words. Like this is why they are politicians and not actors. So all the family secrets. <laughs> Shit. We need to move ground with men. So what we're going to do is pretend to drink beer at a bar. Bro, this uh, video has like politics, gender war, and a lot of bullshit involved. Like there's so many topics there. Men like beer, right? Cheers. Cheers. Yeah, men like to lift rocks. Well, to, I do actually Just like to lift rocks, but... talk. About drink beer, just be fish, and just talk with the boys and fix our car. And what they want, Kamala. I like you alcohol. Got you, you, uh, you gotta drink a beer, man. And the, 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 you gotta come and fish, drink a beer while we fix our car, and look at sports. And uh, yeah, oh, lift rocks. Do is talk. Actually, no. Now that I think about it, that might make it worse. Put him walls or out man. there, okay? Or. Let him walls. <laughs> Do the talking. Don't dress him man up stuff. as a man. Yeah. You want to know how to speak to men? Go to where they are. A good place to speak to young men. How about you just talk to them? The, the, or, or the same with all of the, Like, just talk to them. Is that hard? Is the Joe Rogan podcast, which Kamala hinted at going on, but then that never happened. And instead, Trump went on, and that episode hit like 20 million views in a day. But like, 
Can you blame her? Joe Rogan is just one of the most popular podcasts like in the world with a majority young male audience. I hate it here. Every time this topic comes up, so does the topic of like Andrew Tate, Jordan Peterson, internet algorithms, Gamergate, whatever. There is a massive amount of right-wing radicalization that has been occurring, especially in younger male spaces. Any hobbies whatsoever, whether it's playing video games, whether it's working out, whether it's, I don't know, listening to like a history podcast or whatever, everything that they see is right-wing sentiment being expressed by individuals that they find charismatic. But you can only blame internet algorithms for so much for so long. This automatic assumption that any dis- It's not a cause for everything, of course. It's not. Sent from liberal mainstream thought could only be caused by manipulation or brainwashing from podcasters is honestly a- Yeah, cope, in they, my opinion. no, I- I listen, I did not only blade the algorithm, there's a lot of things. I'm teasing you, uppies. And just an easy excuse for failing to reach anyone beyond your own subreddit. As if this all wasn't the result of like a stagnant neoliberal corpo hell world that created a vacuum that was just waiting to be filled with some kind, any kind of populism. The crazy thing is the Democratic Party did have a candidate who successfully spoke to the demographic that they are currently trying so hard to reach. His name was Bernie Sanders. And every time he did speak to that demographic or say he was concerned that the Democratic Party didn't do enough to speak to that demographic, he was called a sexist, a racist, he was backstabbed multiple times and cheated out of winning the Democratic primaries. His fans were called Bernie bros and constantly berated as sexists and misogynists. His campaign was too white and too male. And this apparently was a top priority to remedy in future campaigns. We were told he was just like Trump and quote, appealed to angry white men. Well, well, well. I wonder if Bernie went against Trump. I think he'd win. Who's trying to appeal to angry white men now, bitch? It's almost like Bernie's hyper focus on working class issues, bread and butter issues, and populism was naturally attractive to men. No football or beer required. <sighs> I miss him. And you know what? Maybe this shift with young men has less to do with who's out holding out the football 20, and more of what happens when the DNC spends all their time and energy trashing the little bit of populism in their movement. And if you ask me, handing conservatives a monopoly on anti-establishment rhetoric on a silver platter was probably their first mistake. They kind of gave up on that bread and butter New Deal stuff for identity politics. And if you deny this, you are either lying or coping. The physical manifestation of the left has gone from the vision of the blue collar union worker to a nagging scolding fat woman with blue hair barging into everyone's spaces and culturally colonizing them. Change this, change that. I don't like this. I don't like that. It's just incredible for me to witness years of anti-male rhetoric finally come back to bite the left and Democrats in the ass. Watching these chickens come home to roost has just been both incredibly depressing and deliciously vindicating to me in a sick f way and I'm not sure if I should lend out a helping hand or Mufasa them off this fucking cliff. Some Democrats are nervous the party was too late to realize the problem. These Democrats worry that the party has focused too much on courting women voters, LGBTQ voters, and culturally progressive voters, alienating too many men in the process. There's a recognition that we're losing men and the things we're doing around men haven't been working. I think a lot of it is a reaction to social progressivism done the wrong way, says David Hogg. Young men, he says, Feel like progressives look down on them for saying the wrong thing, even when it's a mistake. That discomfort is enough to drive them away from the Democratic Party, even if they don't necessarily agree with Republicans. They would rather be around someone they don't agree with. Who I, I, I do think that, that they'd make men seem like this specific being, weird being. Like, it's just, I mean, I get it. But like, at the same time, man, the, the bro, am I the only one that sits and listens to these commas and I'm be like, man, this is, uh, it's tiresome that we're in this phase where everybody it's all about like separating each other constantly. The fuck is the right way then? Tell them as uh, you're calling them out. Yeah. Doesn't judge them. Then somebody they do agree with who judges them constantly. Men aren't moving it's right because they are to be honest, bro, We are really like the world now is sexist as hell. Fascism. They are like we're trying to separate. We're trying to be less sexist. I'm gonna be real. All of this like proactive acts are just making more people more sexist moving right because the left made them the villains it in their anime fan fiction. Always. It's not that they all like Trump. 
that they all hate you and no amount of camo hats is going to fix that. But do not get it twisted. I do not in any way, shape or form believe the GOP is going to help men. I don't think they're gonna help anyone. Except maybe Israel. Do I think all of the left Damn. is some hyper woke fat lady wagging her finger in men's faces like no fun allowed? No, no, no. No. If Bad I did, boy. I wouldn't call myself left wing. I'm not a Democrat. I'm a registered independent. But the Democratic Party is historically better on policy and despite their messaging, even when it comes to helping men. Healthcare, higher wages, paid family leave, labor protection, social security. Things Republicans have always fought against. American Addy for president, we're good. I would never be president. I don't that say this annoying. with any love for the Republican Party. In fact, if anything, I say it with love for the Democratic Party. I fucking hate them, but deep down, I wish they could be better. I'm doing this for your own good. <laughs> Go sleep, go sleep. Shh. Thank God. Go sleep, I love you, go sleep. Shh. I just hope that whether Kamala wins or loses, the party can take a step back and evaluate what they're doing wrong. Because I don't think the Democratic Party should be the party for the gays and women. I think the Democratic Party should be the party for everyone. Yeah, I know. Including angry white men. So in your opinion, True. what could the Democratic Party do to win back young men? Can they do anything? Are they f to me, it might take decades of work to fix the culture, the rot that infests the progressive ideology. It is going to take a lot of work to fix, but I think it's worth it, not just for the Democratic Party's sake, but just for society's sake. If you like this video, please consider donating to my yeah. Patreon, link down below. It really helps the channel out and I appreciate it so, so much. Also, thank you for 2 million subscribers. That's huge. Insane. And I will see you guys with a new video soon. Bye. Yeah, I think that in the end of the day, all of this mindset and thinking is just turning it worse as a society in its whole. Like we're just pushing each other down and separating and segregating each other for no reason at all, just because of the, we're different in a way. Biology, biology, bi blah, blah, blah. They're different either regarding race or gender. It's just always like this, always this onset of back and forward of we got to be like this and they got to be like that. Biologically, I, I just... <laughs> Bro, I'm gonna be real that, uh, dude, as soon as politics is involved, I thought this would be more like yapping about the, the gender dif like differences and like how people are treating each other, which is TBH. I mean, like, I thought it would be a little bit politics, but like, you know, it just, it just dumbs me down, man. Uh, WVD, she's always fun to uh, watch. She, I think uh, she on her, she's always fun to watch. She get, brings up great points. I like it. She's funny. She is a great, well edited video. Great points. I liked it. WVD, WVD, slowly put AI into politics. Now, AI will not solve it. It will just do exactly what we're doing now and repeat 24 7. But regardless, hope you guys enjoyed it. If you're watching this video and enjoyed it, make sure to click the like button, sub to the channel if you watch more. And if you want to come me up in live, come by my Twitch channel, twitch.tv. I'll see you guys around. Take care and have a good one. Peace.